Welcome to the Tea Make and Take Craft for the week of July 20th. I'm Anne Maria Monti, and I'm going to show you a couple of simple science experiments you can do this week. There's four of them in the bag. You're going to get a bag just like this, and when you dump it out, you're going to get an assortment of things. Um, you'll get a set of instructions and it explains exactly what's going on with each of them. The first one we're going to do is have a fo floating ping pong ball. So you're going to need the small straw that has the bend in it. You have a top of a water bottle and a ping pong ball. What you're gonna do is put the straw into the cap of the, of the bottle. Um, if it's a little loose, you might put a piece of tape and just make a small cut in it, just so that you can do. And what you're gonna attempt to do is you're gonna levitate the ping pong ball with air and try to keep it in the cup. And hopefully I won't have to blow too hard for this to work. So here we go. So you can see what you can do. It should stay in the cup. That's one of the principles of it. So that's the first experiment you have. The second one is a hovercraft. And in order to do that, it's a really simple one. We have a CD, an old one, and a bottle top that's been hot glue on there. Some of them will have caps. If you have a cap on it, you can put the balloon on it and then pop the cap afterwards. If you don't, what you can do in case, you're gonna blow up your balloon. And I'm gonna do that for you here so you can see how it works. And what you want to do is give it a couple twists so that when you're putting it over the bottle cap it doesn't all the air won't go out on you so i'm going to put it over the top it doesn't have to go all the way down and then as you let it as you let it go whoops hopefully it'll stay on for you that one it didn't you might be chasing the balloon around the room a little bit but you can keep doing it and the dish will float across the tabletop the next one that you have in there is an emoji Thermidor and you get a sheet like this you get one that you can make your own and a straw and here's one that's already made and you're going to end up making it so it, it looks like this and what happens is the side that doesn't have the yellow on it as you spin it your eyes will fill it in so you will cut it out and you're going to put your straw kind of near the bottom and you're going to use a piece of tape for it and a couple rolls of tape so you can close it. Whoops. Just like this. I take two or three, and then you're just gonna get it closed like this. And as you spin it, your eyes will fill in that yellow circle. And you can make it brighter if you want. So you probably you just have one straw in the kit. You can add anything from home. And then the fourth one you do, it's called the Mysterious Colors. You're going to get a sheet of paper like this with four toothpicks on them. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the disc, and in the middle, you're going to put one of the toothpicks. And you probably only want to use about a half of the toothpick. If it gives you a little trouble when you go to spin it like a top, put a piece of tape on it so that'll stay a little more snug. And as you spin it, if all of these sheets are just black and white, Look and see what you see. Your eyes are going to fill in some colors. Now, I've already spun this one a few times, so I need to put another piece of tape on there so that I can get the hole a little snugger against, snug against the toothpick. And as I spin it, see what happens. See what, what it looks like for your eyes. So there you have it. So this is for the week of July 20th. These are the craft make and, take and makes for the teens. And I hope you enjoy these simple science experiments. And like I said, there's explanations on the instructions and have fun. See you next week.